Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today we're gonna make a classic dish that I almost loved when I was growing up. I really liked this dish, but there was one ingredient that made me not love it, which is very funny because now as an adult, I absolutely love the ingredient. The best thing about this dish is if you have leftover turkey, chicken, goose, duck, lamb, or whatever you have for Thanksgiving, you can feed your entire family for under a dollar a serving. And in this case, a pretty good size serving. So let's get this classic dish started by adding a quarter cup of butter. And we got just a little bit overzealous and accidentally added a half a cup of butter, which we very quickly reduced back down to a quarter cup of butter. We'll use the other quarter cup of butter later. So give the butter a good mix until it's almost fully melted. And then add one diced yellow onion, one diced bell pepper, and eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. If you have other vegetables or leftover vegetables, feel free to add them into the dish. Add a little salt and pepper. And then give everything a good mix and saute for about five minutes. And I forgot to add in three stalks of chopped celery. Now here's what the vegetables look like after sauteing for five minutes. Now we'll add in the other quarter cup of butter. And just mix it in with the vegetables. And then add a half a cup of all purpose flour. Now give everything a thorough mix until all the flour has been absorbed and then let it cook for two to three minutes just to get that raw edge off the flour taste. Once all the flour has been absorbed and it's cooked for about two to three minutes, add two cups of chicken broth. And then two cups of whole milk. And for all the kids out there, no, chocolate milk is not considered whole milk and it wouldn't really make this taste good. Well, at least I don't think it would. Try it and let me know. Just don't tell your parents I told you to do it. Now give it all a good mix until it starts to thicken up. Now at this point in the video, does anyone know what I'm making? Let me know in the comments. Now add one cup of frozen peas and carrots, or fresh if you have them. Now most of you already know that I don't like peas, but they're part of this recipe so I added them in and I'm gonna eat it for you, the people, so you don't have to. Now let it come up to a simmer, stirring often.
Once it was up to a simmer, we gave it a taste for seasoning. And it needed a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. So we gave it another mix and tried it again. After the salt, pepper, and garlic, it was still missing just a little something. And I wasn't sure how I forgot to add this, but a little bit of poultry seasoning. If you don't have poultry seasoning, you can use sage. Once you have it seasoned the way you like it, add in whatever meat you have. Preferably chicken or turkey. And in this recipe, I'm using the leftover thigh meat from a Thanksgiving turkey. If you didn't happen to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving, hopefully the relatives or whoever you spent Thanksgiving with gave you a plate or two of turkey to bring home. So since the turkey's already cooked, you only want to reheat it. You don't want to cook it anymore and make it fall apart into stringy turkey. So once your turkey is warm through, add about four tablespoons of pimentos. And of course you can add more or less to suit your taste. Or if you want to be a true rebel, you can just omit them, which I highly recommend not doing. That was the ingredient I did not like when I was a kid. If you didn't already know, or you haven't guessed yet, this is the classic turkey a la king. Well, the classic a la king is chicken a la king. We just use turkey instead. We ate this classic dish often when I was a kid, and I loved it no matter what kind of meat my father put in it. The only thing I did not like was the pimentos. You can serve chicken a la king or turkey a la king or whatever a la king you make over toasts, biscuits, noodles, mashed potatoes, or rice, which is what we're serving it on today. I've actually made Chicken Isle King a few times over the past several years. And just nostalgia sets in when you're eating it. It definitely reminds me of my childhood. The nice creamy sauce, big chunks of mushrooms, big chunks of meat, veggies, and your rice. This is a belly warming, stick to your ribs meal for under a dollar a serving. So this is how you feed your family a classic dish on a budget. Okay, I have something pretty funny to tell you, the people, that has absolutely nothing to do with this video. I ate a hot dog the other day, right out of the fridge and right out of the package, as cold as it could be. And it was one of those cheap hot dogs. And it was absolutely delicious. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm rambling on about, I haven't been a fan of cold hot dogs since I was a kid. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.